Hello, and welcome to the HIV RNA Test Guide Podcast, your trusted source for HIV testing with access to over 4,500 plus testing labs across the United States. For more information, check the link in the description below or the bio section of our channel. For over four decades, the search for an HIV cure has been one of science's greatest challenges. But today, we're looking at something new, something different. It's a therapeutic vaccine called HTI, and it's stirring up more hope than we've seen in a long, long time for what's known as a functional cure. So what makes this approach a potential game changer? Let's dive in. And that really is the million dollar question, isn't it? After all this time, all these incredible medical advances, why has a true cure for HIV remained just out of reach? Well, to really understand why this new vaccine is so exciting, we first have to get our heads around what makes this virus so incredibly tough to beat. You see, the medications we have today, antiretroviral therapy or ART, they are absolute lifesavers. They work by suppressing the virus, basically putting it into a deep sleep. But here's the catch. The moment you stop taking those pills, the virus wakes right back up and starts multiplying again. The real goal here is to find a way to move beyond a lifetime of daily medication. Okay, and this is super important to clarify. When we say vaccine, most of us think of the kind you get for the flu, right? A preventative shot that stops you from ever getting sick. But this is totally different. The HIV vaccine is therapeutic. It's designed to be given to people who are already living with HIV. And its job is to train their own immune system to take control of the virus. So what exactly is this new vaccine up against? Let's break down the three big reasons HIV has been such a tough nut to crack for all these years. First, HIV is an absolute master of hide and seek. It burrows deep inside our own immune cells into these hiding spots called viral reservoirs where medications just can't get to it. Second, it's a shapeshifter. It's constantly mutating, changing its appearance so our immune system can't get a lock on it. And finally, over the long haul, it just wears our body's defenses down. So you see, any potential cure has to be a triple threat. It's got to solve all three of these problems. All right, so how on earth does the HTI vaccine plan to outsmart a defense like that? Well, this is where things get really, really clever. It introduces a completely new strategy, a brand new training manual for our immune system. HTI stands for HIV T-cell immune targeting. And that name, it tells you everything you need to know. This isn't just about creating some general defenses. No, this is about precision training for the special forces of our immune system, the T cells. It's about getting them ready for a very specific mission. Here's the brilliant shift in thinking, the real aha moment. For years, scientists tried to attack the parts of HIV that are always changing. And you know what? It was like trying to hit a moving target that was constantly putting on a new disguise. It was basically impossible. The HTI vaccine does the exact opposite. It trains the immune system to totally ignore all those disguises and instead go after the conserved regions. These are the essential parts of the virus that can't change. If they did, the virus would just fall apart. It's an absolutely genius move, attacking HIV at its most vulnerable, unchangeable core. And I really need to be crystal clear on this point. There is zero risk of getting HIV from this vaccine. It's just not possible. It doesn't contain the actual virus. It only uses tiny, harmless pieces of HIV proteins, just enough to act as a training dummy for your immune cells so they know what to look for. To really wrap our heads around how this works, let's use a simple analogy. I want you to think of your body as a house and HIV as a very sneaky intruder. So HIV is like a thief who's broken into your house and is now hiding somewhere inside the walls. Now your daily medication, the ART, that's like putting a super strong lock on every single door and window. It does a great job of keeping the thief quiet and contained, but it doesn't actually get them out of the house. They're still in there. This is where the HTI vaccine completely changes the game. The vaccine is like a brand new top of the line training manual for your home security system, which is your immune system. It gives it the blueprints showing it exactly where the thief likes to hide and what their weak spots are, so the system can finally find them and get them out all on its own. And all of this leads us to the ultimate goal, the holy grail, a functional cure. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean every last trace of the virus is wiped from your body forever. What it means is your immune system becomes so well-trained that it can control any leftover virus all by itself, no daily medication required. It means living a long, healthy life with the virus completely managed by your own body. So you might be wondering what makes this so different from past attempts? Well, it all comes down to the target. 
old strategies focused on antibodies. And antibodies are great, but they can't get to a virus once it's hiding inside one of our cells. The HTI approach goes after T cells, the only part of our immune system that can actually hunt down and destroy those already infected cells, hitting the virus right where it lives. Okay, this all sounds fantastic in theory, right? But is it actually working in the real world? Let's take a look at what the early clinical trials are telling us. The early results are, well, they're really encouraging. Researchers found that the vaccine definitely strengthened the immune response against HIV. Patients' bodies started making more powerful, more targeted T cells. And here's the most exciting part. When some patients, under strict medical supervision, paused their daily medication, their own immune systems were able to keep the virus suppressed for longer than we would have expected. It's a huge sign that this might be working. But, and this is a big but, we have to be realistic here. We need to be honest. The science is incredibly exciting, but this vaccine is still experimental. It's not ready for public use yet. There's a lot more research that needs to be done to prove just how effective this is and for how long. So let's zoom out for a second. What could this all mean for the future? Let's really think about the profound human impact of what a functional cure would look like. Just try to imagine it. A world where someone diagnosed with HIV doesn't have to face a lifetime of taking pills every single day. A world where their own body just handles it, keeping the virus in check naturally. This would do more than just improve physical health. It would lift the immense weight of fear, stigma, and the daily emotional burden that comes with this virus. It would be life-changing. And while that incredible future is getting closer every day, the journey to better health always starts with a single crucial step. For anyone dealing with HIV, the most powerful tool we have right now, today, is knowledge. Getting tested early is just everything. It's the first step that opens the door to the amazing treatments we have now. And it gets you ready for future breakthroughs like this vaccine. It leads to far, far better long-term health. And it gives you something absolutely priceless, peace of mind and control over your own health. So if you or anyone you know needs information on getting tested, you can find quick, confidential, and affordable options by visiting HIVRNATestGuide.com. Taking that step is the most important thing you can do for yourself, because your health is way too important to leave to chance. So as we wrap this up, I want to leave you with this one thought. The science we talked about today is pushing us closer than ever to a brand new reality for treating HIV. Just take a moment and really think about it. What could a world where HIV is managed by our own bodies, not by daily pills, truly look like? The answer to that question is nothing short of revolutionary.